Hello boys and welcome to a new video, Road to Full Bandos. Now this is actually uh, what I would consider episode one, where we get into some money making schemes. Right boys, I'm on my way for a Saradomin trip, so I'll see you if I get any drops. <laughs> right, I'm going to provide you some more context for this Bandos trip. So my two in real life friends, um, Chewy and Thirsty Box. You know, we've all hit 100 combat, so we want to go to Bandos. My clan mate came, Big Ninja, the guy who I um, borrowed the stuff off, and we went to Bandos, and I'm, we've never, all of us have never seen a drop. Like, I've never seen any drop yet. Um, well, I haven't done very many kills, to be fair. I'm just sort of starting to get to combat level where it's fun to do it, um, especially within a little team. You know, a team of four, you're lasting forever. A team of three, you're lasting a long time. Um, team of two with 100 level combats, you know, not so good. Um, soloable, definitely not. <laughs> What's that, other minion? No way. <laughs> Was that off a minion tree? No way. That's crazy. Oh my god. Does <laughs> it work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's asking the other. Bandos Casey. <laughs> You're literally like the luckiest. If you look at your collection log, <laughs> four KC <laughs> and a Bandos chest plate in the collection log. So yeah, from that 25 mil split, uh, we each got 6.4 mil. So I actually need an item and that is the uh, Ava's, what's it called? Ava's Assembler. Um, and it requires the Vorkath head. Um, to use it and you go and see Ava to get it so that is sort of the item I want and I'm going for this video and I thought uh, you know what Vorkath is pretty decent money um, and I've never really done it before so why not now to get the Vorkath head you have to either get it as a as a red drop um, which it is I think let's have a little look it's 1 in 50, right? But it's guaranteed on your 50th kill. So currently I have one kill, but I'm going to do another 50 and see the loot from the 50 kills. Plus at kill sort of 50th, I would have uh, I would get the Vorkath head, which then I can create the Ava's Assembler, which gives increased stats and improved ammo return. And it's kind of like best in slot and use the accumulator everywhere. So... I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's let's get this upgraded. Let's let's move on to some better range gear. So my setup is pretty beastly, to be fair. Um, I'm using Saradomin crossbow. I'm using full armadillo armor. Now this was loaned to me by one of my pals, um, Big Ninja, and um, that's very kind of him. But I I would be able to do Vorkath without this sick range gear. Um, but it would just be a lot slower and because I have access to it I might as well use it um, it just saves me a bit of time makes me a little bit more money per hour so yeah that's basically the setup for this video um, apart from that later on in the video you'll see some mad stuff at Bandos um, I've just got one clip but I caught my live reaction so Look forward to that. But yeah, anyway, these kills, you know, they're kind of easy. I, I did actually die quite a lot of times. I think in the 50 kills, I died about seven or eight times, um, which is pretty terrible. But it, some of them were from like little lag spikes when he throws the fireball up and, and it sort of instantly KOs you. Um, and the others were just um, when I don't do the wooks walk or do the walking thing correctly. Or if I try and go for a sneaky hit while I'm doing that. And, and take some hits but then I fuck up and then I get hit multiple 30s and then I die and it's 100k every time so essentially I've wasted about seven or 800k um, during this sort of little grind but no it was really fun the mechanics quite easy once you get get into it um, you just got to walk you've got to have your slayer staff to kill the little minion you've got to watch out for when he throws the fireball and I sort of changed my setup over the over sort of 
the 50 kills. I realized that you can use the salve amulet at Vorkath. Uh, I've got the EI version, so the imbued version and the upgraded from Tarn's Lair. And that provides, you know, 20 plus, 20% 20 um, damage boost or something like that. So, yeah, alongside party, alongside that, uh, I was doing some pretty sweet damage. And um, I, what I didn't realize um, until a lot later on, I was using Dragon Diamond Bolt E's. Now, these are pretty good. They get you, you know, fairly consistent kills around the three and a half to four minute mark. But then I realized, you know what, can't you use Ruby Bolts? Um, so I got those and then about 35% health, I switched back to the Diamond Bolts E. Um, and yeah, these do like 100 damage if they hit and sometimes they hit they hit normally once at least a kill but sometimes twice you know and if you're using that Saradim crossbow then that gives you an even higher chance for it to hit so I didn't realize that and that improved my times for a bit I think my quickest kill was two minutes 15 which I was pretty damn proud of um, I think I got lucky with a couple of the bolt specs and then I was just hitting constantly um, but two minute 15 kill caught was unheard of for you know 89 range nowhere near max um but yeah, the average kill was probably between three and a half and four minutes, if I'll be honest. So fairly slow. But this is my sort of first proper, proper bossing experience where I'm being introduced to the new mechanics that Jagex has like sort of put into the game. Um, they're really going for some crazy mechanics with the like the new raids and stuff. Um, and I look forward to you know all this new content. And I look forward to learning it because um, yeah, no, it's quite a skill. You have to be quite a gamer. Um, in my mind, to be honest. So, anyway, my kills got a lot quicker, um, and I was just getting consistent money. Vorkath, to be honest, is just such sort of consistent money. There's no good drops. Like, the good drops are like Dragon Plate Legs or Dragon Battle Axes, or I don't know. Um, but I got a few of those. I kept getting sort of Dragon Items one after the other after the other um, for a little while. And they do add up because they're between, you know, of 100 to 300k um, depending I think you can actually look up on the wiki how much per the average kill is yeah the average kill is worth 131k um, that's pretty good but as I said like the chance you're gonna get one of the big drops is so rare um, like the the, the visage uh, the skeletal visage is like one in 5k dragon visage is one in 5k like you're not going to see those. I don't know, know how you get the skeletal visage. Um, I'm guessing through skeletal wyverns, or, or maybe it's just Vorkath. But yeah, one in five k. That's why it's like fairly expensive, I guess, because because it's so rare. But um, I can't actually afford that. It's good to use here, but I've just been using a dragon fire shield. And then for, I remember for one of my kills, I had to teleport because I thought I could use a twisted buckler or or whatever it is, twisted ward, twisted buckler. Um, but with a like super extended anti fire, but that is not the case, and I started getting smacked up. So I teleported out and went straight back to the the dragon fire shield. But no, as I said, no big drops, just nice consistent money making, um, and and that's what we like in, for this series, you know. And and to be honest, it was it was it was a sh it was a good grind. Like it, it didn't take too long, and, and I made quite a bit of money. So if I look at, at all the loot in the loot tab, we're talking about, so for my 50 kills, 6.37 mil, you know, four dragon plate legs, three dragon battle axes, load of battle stars, that's one of the good drops, load of death runes, load of rune kite shields, an onyx bolt drop, uh, I think I've got two of them, uh, a decent amount of cash, loads of dehydes, um, so yeah, I've got some manta rays back, so I was scranning those. Um, you basically use like, well me, I was using like between half an invent and most of an invent. And as I got later on, I, I had some kills where I used less. And I did some two kill trips actually, which was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I definitely think there's some gear upgrades. But obviously this stuff is on loan. So it, once I go back down to my gear, which is sort of full full Gothic's Dehyde, Dragon Crossbow, um, stuff like that, then then you know we'd be definitely struggling getting a lot slower kills a lot of money per hour but yeah total loot 6.37 mil from this little grind also the avas accumulator i will be build i will be um combining that next video um and i'll be using it at some um, new bosses which i hope you guys would like 
collection log slot. Oh yeah, completed. collection log slot. Ah, uh, Vorkath had absolutely obtained like a beast, made some cash. Woohoo! This episode, we have made 12.8 million GP towards the Bando set. Now, I will be going probably for Bando's Tacits first, just because that's the classic. They look cooler. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it. We're like already halfway there. And this is the first episode, boys. So, thanks so much for watching. Um, make sure you tune in for the next episode. Um, it will be coming out soon. I I'm very much looking forward to it. Peace and love, boys. See you later. Subscribe.